Hey guys, this is X Andrew 2007 x here with a very cool PlayStation 5 video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you something very, very cool for the Play 5. It's also my first official PlayStation 5 uh, tutorial video. So before I get further in the video, I would greatly appreciate it. This video could get to a thousand likes or more. I know we can do it. And this is the start of a new generation of uh, PlayStation uh, tutorials as well as hopefully modding. So once again, let's get this video to a thousand likes. So if you guys don't already know on the Play 5 or don't own one, um, there is no current web browser. Um, and my only assumption on that point is uh, the PlayStation 4 has many WebKit exploits. And, you know, just simply it's better for Sony to simply just remove the web browser as not many people probably used it. People mainly probably used YouTube and Netflix, and there was already apps for it. So they simply just removed it. They probably will add it in the near future. But once they know that the WebKit exploits are, you know, there are none. So let's get into the video. So basically, if you guys can remember on the Play 4, there was a user guide thing where you could change the DNS. And then you would go to a host a web server. And from there, you would do exploits. This is sort of the same thing. However, this is with a proxy. So once you have the proxy, what you want to do is um, make sure that you have your PC IP and then simply put it in either as a default or into your current uh, Wi-Fi uh, settings. And from there, whenever you go to the user guide, you can then go to any uh, site. And then from there, you can do whatever. Normally, the user guide it is restricted to simply the user guide and you have no freedom. So with this, if there is a WebKit exploit, you are able to fairly uh, do some more things. And uh, right now, if there is a WebKit exploit, we are able to do it. So this isn't like a normal WebKit exploit, considering uh, there is no WebKit like uh, internet browser. However, this does touch the WebKit because the user guide does use the WebKit. So this is a pretty cool exploit for the user guide and a pretty neat WebKit exploit. So once again, let's get this video to 1,000 likes. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, peace.